Okay. Let's see, is this thing working? I think so. Hello? Can you hear me? Let's, Let's see, see, is this thing, thing working? working? Cool. I think so. so. All right, so. Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, this is Echo. Okay. So I am going to be going through how to build um, an augmented reality experience using AR Studio, which is a product from Facebook. Um, and the goal of this is going to be to teach people how to uh, tie a bow tie. And um, because it turns out tying one of these things is it's pretty damn difficult um, and there's a lot of people on YouTube making videos on teaching people how to tie a bow tie but um, I guess my hypothesis is that if you were to use uh, a tool like Spark AR Studio you could um, better explain the steps needed to tie a bow tie um, and I don't know exactly how that looks and feels but I'm gonna start this process by First, making a little bit of a prototype, giving it to people, getting some feedback, um, and then iterating from there. So step one is we're going to start this new project. So go to AR Studio. Uh, this is that tool from Facebook. Um, and I mean, we've all seen the sunglass filters and the um, crowns and this is going to be just a different application of that same technology okay so I'm gonna start with step one let's get our bow tie into the scene so if we insert 3d object whoops so insert face tracker so this is what we use in order to register content to the world uh, to the camera and so that means that we can now identify people's faces and put 3d content relative to that so next we'll get the 3d content so I'll open the library um, I've got a bow tie model that I'm going to import in so we'll bring this in from sketchfab nice little integration there um, and then I will drag this bow tie into the scene and so you can see it's kind of just floating in, in one position in space, but we want this to um, be registered to the face tracker. So we'll do that. And it's a little big, um, but you can see now that those two things are mapped together. Uh, so as the person in the scene's face moves, the bow tie will move too. All right, so we'll pause this um, and we'll scale this down. Um, 0.3, I think. I've actually done this before, so 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, it seems about right, I think. Um, and so now you can see that, we can see this ends of the bow tie through this person's face, uh, so we're going to want to add uh, an occlusion layer uh, so that the camera will know not to render um, render the behind of this bow tie because the user's face is, is going to be there so we'll insert another 3d object this one's on my desktop and called ecluda here we go lots of bow tie stuff um occluder 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 tie anime I thought I put it on my desktop. Maybe not. Um, <laughs> right? I guess not. All right. Um, copy and paste that. Now it's in desktop. It's, okay, it's in documents. Um, 
right? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Do, 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 do. Okay, we got it. All right, so now this big face is in the scene. Um, let's scale this first order of business. Um, let's make sure that this is also a component of the face tracker and that it's the right scale. Seems right. Um, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah, that would be about accurate. Um, and what this material, we want it to be less visible so that we don't see a big gray face. And now you can see if we play this, the back of the bow tie is not being rendered because of the face. Uh, it still looks a little funky. I'm trying to figure out why. Um, it looks like it's too far forward, so we can move this, the tie itself uh, backwards. It's not really easy to to tell and get things positioned. It's a little trial and error, um, but yeah, it's getting closer. I think a little bit further back as well. I guess pause it so that. It's not moving around while I'm trying to also adjust it. Okay, let's see how this is looking. You know, I think that's good. A good first pass. All right. And the second t step is going to be to have it play the how to tie a tie animation on loop, um, which is included with this bow tie. So to do this, we have to create a new animation playback controller um, and we'll see that this plays the bow tie tying animation there we go bam all right and I want this to continue to um, loop which it is um, looks like it's a good speed and yeah that, that seems like it's it's doing the trick um, the next step is for you to, um, let's see what it looks like with my face. All right. And I want to see if this is actually helpful at all. Like I'll do a little bit of user testing. Oh man, this is pretty quick. Okay. So that's the first step. That's going to be the hard one. I feel like I need to slow this down a little bit. Um, we'll go to 75% speed. Maybe even slower than that. Take my jacket off. But this is all, you know, just initial sets of tests on me. Let's see if this is helpful. Um, all right, so let's start to follow along at home. Here, here. Cross up, and then oh, that's interesting. So now it, it gets my face blocks it out while I'm trying to tie it there. And then here's going to be the I think the challenging step to get people to follow. Now, that one. Hmm. Bam. Bam. And then what if that kind of follows my face? It'd be helpful. Hmm. 
can already see this clearly is going to need a couple steps, um, but that is the point of you know kind of making a first pass prototype um, and then working on it from there. It's like the animations almost a little too fast. Okay. Okay, then I go here. Then I go here. And this is where I keep getting tripped up. So let's pay attention to this step. Tucks it back. Hmm, see, that's interesting. I really want to be able to see the end of that. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to decrease some of the opacity on this bow tie. I have a feeling that I'm just having a hard time seeing what uh, is the real bow tie and what's the fake one. So there we go. Now it's got like a little shadow effect. Maybe this will be more helpful. Um, so I can see through the animation and the real one. So from the top, you know, now it's a little bit slower. Okay. Bam. 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 Okay, and then this one. This one comes over right here. Okay. Believe this is where I tuck it back through here. Yeah. Man, so as you can see this is this is actually not an easy task. Struggling. Struggling a little bit. It's like, where does that get tucked in? That's what I'm getting. I want to go even slower with this animation. Let's go 50%. Let's make it a little bit bigger. I feel like this, bow, this animated bow tie is a little too small and it's hard to really um, tell what's going on. So what if I make 0.5? And pause. Good little freeze frame. All right, so now I got a huge bow tie. Kind of ruined the effect of being right on it, but let's see. Can I make this bigger? Oh, 
All right. Interesting. I think it's gonna be helpful. I almost want to like move it actually above my face too. Like it's like floating here in my mouth. Uh -huh. And in this case, let's even get rid of this occluder. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. You know, all good things that you learn from trialing. All right. So now it's over my face, and I'm gonna fall through with these steps at home. And the first one. Cross. Underneath. And then I just get like, I need a pause button because now it's like getting ahead of me. But that will be, that could be a round two thing. Let's just try to get, we to tie it first here. Uh. Ooh. Which I even like. Well, so I'm here. And the next step is back and then tuck it, tuck it through, I think, here. I think that's where I'm getting screwed up. All right. And the lighting, you know, lighting would be helpful. Um, so, I'm here, I'm here, we want to go here, and then, and then, I can't see, is the problem. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm determined, very determined to get it in there. And now, my animations are are moving. Um, what if I rotated this? Let's try that real quick. Let's see, because I'm. Okay, it's not rotating. Uh, that's the head occluder. I almost feel like I'm getting tripped up with the camera quality here. It's like I can't see precisely how to put this through. Um, I believe it's through this, this knot right here. Ching. I get it. It all fell apart. This is really hard. <laughs> so I've got all the steps. It's that last one. And I 
I'm just concentrating on the bow tie at this moment. So what if I could, you know, just say, okay, I get it. This last step, I really just need the whole camera out of the way. You got to tuck it in that corner. And now that I've learned how to do this animation, we're going to hide it. Okay. So here, 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 here. Now, you know, no, no distractions of the camera. Okay. And then I kind of want to see that last step again. Um, There's an important fold step. Yeah, it's that fold. Okay. Okay, I want to fold it like this. Yep. That is muy importante. So. So now I've learned a little bit more. I think I was missing that fold step. We're here. Got a nice knot. We fold and tuck this back through here. That is a gnarly bow tie. Oh. <laughs> All right. For everyone watching, watching at home, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Okay, I had it, I had it, and it gets tucked through, not well, okay. So this is a step I'm gonna wanna illustrate maybe a little bit better. Um, Man, man, oh man. Okay. All right, I want to almost go into a mirror. Is that cheating? I'm determined as you guys can tell. Give me more information. Okay, maybe so. This experiment is, you know, 
being helpful. I can tell you that Maybe I'm doing that first. Okay, now this gets annoying, and I'll take this. Just feeling for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, see, it's like I cannot see how terrible this bow tie is through this webcam, but I know it is not looking good. That is a fact. Oh, so cute. So close. Okay. Hey, oh. What's up? I'm not sure that. Oh, okay. There we go. So that was not easy. That um, one of the problems I think I'm struggling with is just this. It's just the camera, the camera quality. It's like you almost need to go to a mirror as well. But this is all valuable learning. Um, and my plan is to pass this off and give it to some other people. Um, I'm gonna, I think it's important to, you know what, just, just publish it like this. And my plan is just to hand it off to some people, um, maybe record them as they do it, and try to build a better experience so that it that, I mean that was that was not easy. Uh, so continue to iterate. All right. So now I have to export this. Um, how do I export? <laughs> there we go. So save. We'll save this as save this into Bowtie V1. Bowtie V1. Save. And now I'll export it so that it can be brought into. Um, Facebook and people can open it up through Facebook Messenger. So export the effect. Then we'll open Facebook's platform. Uh, publish and manage AR. Yep. And we'll upload an effect. Get started. Effect name: How to tie a bow tie. Version one. Use the owner. Oh, right. And then Facebook's very particular about its 
40, 40 pixels, but uh, I have some of those from, I think, a past project I was working on. So maybe I'll grab that. Um, and that would be here, images, 480, do I 480? Nope. Uh, either way, I'll, uh, from here, cut off, put a link in the description to the effect, and hope to be back with uh, some more user testing feedback. Cool. Uh,